I guess it's not my day. <laughs> Guy came back. <laughs> he didn't have the right paperwork. Thank God the fire department is down the corner. So he'll be back like in 20 minutes. <laughs> so I've been here since 9.30. Ah, man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Never, never, never a dull day in the real estate business. People think it's easy. You have no idea how the knowledge and patience takes to get a deal together. Working the deal, talking to people, following up. You know, people look at it, ah, I don't know. Okay, tell me what it, you don't know. I could tell you what it is, explain it to you, what you're worried about. Like I had a offer at the Marina Bay house for 730,000. I didn't react, I didn't blow off on the, you know, I was very calm. I'm like, okay, good, yeah, 730. Here's my counter. Here's my counter and I'm listing it for that price and I'm doing an open house. And I guarantee you, I'm gonna have people come. Because at the end of the day, I know what I'm selling and I know what neighborhood it's in. And, you know, people are gonna have a little ball. And, uh, yeah, I'm not, uh, regarding my house, I'm not in a position that I have to sell, so it's okay. Uh, and the only reason I'm selling it is the past two years, I think I've spent uh, a total of maybe six months in there. So, um, I can't justify anymore the condo fees and the uh, property taxes and all the other crap to uh, keep it. So uh, rather cash out, take that all money and put it in the bank and uh, actually buy more properties with it. Uh, investment properties, you know, right now I'll be carrying two private residences in the United States and forget about the ones overseas. So. Um, the time is to bunker down, liquidate everything you have, and get ready for the crash. And uh, don't take that money from the stock market. Uh, real estate's gonna be the way to go. Um, even some bars or restaurants or businesses that were not a business that I think that might be a good opportunity, and I could last longer than them. I'm fortunate to be able to do that. Um, I'll be pulling the trigger on some stuff, so. Uh, we're getting ready to buy uh, a property that I was uh, had a deal on February of 2020, right before COVID started a little bit, and then it hit in March. I was in Morocco negotiating a 18,000 square foot, six seven lots uh, land that there's a commercial business on it that happens to be owned by one of my partners and general contractors that I do some flips with. And uh, we had an offer for 1.4 million. And the guy renegotiated at the end, wanted 1.47. Or he was gonna take like one of the lots out. And I said, no. And guess what? March 20th, he start calling. Hey, I'll take 1.4 now. I'm like, yep, bye bye. And we're about to give him an offer for 1.1. And if we get it for 1.2, we're fine with that. Uh, we're gonna develop the commercial business there more what it could do and I am going to go for permits and engineering and all those nice little things that you have to do to be able to build probably around 40 to 50 condos over there so uh, I'll spend the money do the engineering do everything and when I get that done then I'm going to sell it as a ready package that's going to take a couple of years to happen so that's one of my Willy Wonka tickets as they say uh, in the back burner. I will be buying that property, 100%. Uh, we're gonna put a car dealership, a rental car business. It's got a body shop now. We're gonna put a steel uh, two bay garage addition, uh, steel frame uh, building, rent that out for 5,000 a month. Um, and it'll be a good business for the next two years, generating a nice income until I finish up of the, uh, permitting and everything I need to do to submit to the city of Boston. And uh, we'll see what we do with that. So yeah, as you can see, there's still an opportunity. There's still things that I'm willing and dealing. I'm not out of Boston. I'm still in Boston, but 10 months out of the year, I'll be living in Naples where I will be also doing a lot of uh, flips, purchases, commercial purchases. I've teamed up with a very good friend of mine. He's in the dentist business. He'll be running the dentist side and I'll be running the real estate side. 
he's uh, motivated and uh, he basically saw the movie McDonald's and uh, what Croc did, we're gonna do the same philosophy, own the business and own the property and out of the business pay to the property and something like that. Um, and uh, that's about it. Uh, at this time, point in my career, I'm either gonna go bigger or just keep what I'm doing and decide what's gonna happen in the future. But for now, I'm totally happy with what I'm doing. Um, really, the last thing I have to do is sell the Marina Bay home and I'm really, really sitting good and uh, just enjoying life and can't wait to uh, spend time more with my family. That's about it. So I'm here still waiting for this. 47 years in the fire department. Yeah, and uh, he doesn't have another proper paperwork to give me. I have to wait here another no freaking 30 minutes. But he's like, I'll drop it in the mail. I'm like, no, 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 I'll wait for you. I go, <laughs> I've seen things happen, man. I'll wait for you, grab it in my hand, scan it on my scan scanner on the phone, send it who needs to have it, leave it with the owner, when the owner gets the package for the power of attorney, because my sellers do not go anymore to a closing. Everything's power of attorney. Pre-COVID as well. I don't even go to closings anymore. So uh, he'll send that in with the power of attorneys to do the deeds and stuff. And uh, that's it. And uh, I'll tell you guys what's going on the next uh, place I got to go to and take a look at. Okay.